Hey guys and welcome back to my cooking channel and this is the Christmas edition. So I'm going to show you how to make these really delicious festive stuffing bites. They're really really easy, you can have them as like almost like canapes, they're great on your Christmas dinner and if your family's like my family and they like things to be kept simple then this is the side dish for you. As always we're going to start with the ingredients and you need very few for this dish which is why I love it so much. So we've got some lovely pork meat, we've got some festive streaky bacon, although smoked streaky bacon is fine, we've got some dried sage, again you can use fresh sage, no problem, we've got an onion, they are our four main ingredients, you'll need a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, spray oil is really handy, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's about it, so we'll begin with dicing our onion, now I like to taste the onion in my stuffing, so I do chop this quite large, but feel free to slice it, dice it, finely dice it, however you prefer to have it in your stuffing. Uh, this is how I do mine. I'm sure by now you all know how to dice an onion, but there may be some very new home cooks on here. So this is how I dice mine. Of course, if you want to find a dice, then you make those first cuts uh, closer together, then you'll get smaller chunks. Don't cut through the root because that's the part that will make you cry and then you've got a lovely dice. Now we're gonna begin cooking, that's all the prep. Unless you're using fresh sage then you wanna finely slice that as well, but we're not using dried in this video. So get your big knob of butter, around about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half, and get that melted down into a pan and then just add your onion. And we're gonna cook our onion off because what we don't want because the stuffing bites are fairly small, what we don't want is by the time the meat's cooked to have big chunks of raw onion, um, the person sitting next to you at Christmas dinner won't appreciate that when you start to have conversation with them. So what we're going to do is, yes, gently saute this onion in a little bit of butter. You can add a good pinch of salt and that will obviously season the onions and it does also help to cook. And then after five or six minutes when the onion's starting to um, starting to soften we're going to go in with either our dried or fresh sage whatever you're using so this is my dried sage and I've gone in with a good teaspoon and a half there you can add a little bit more if you prefer the flavor of it a little bit less if you want it to be more subtle but I've gone in with just a, a lot I'd say a heaped table a teaspoon and then if your pan starts to get too dry because you've put dried herbs in there, you can always add a splash of water. That will help the onions and the sage to continue to cook without burning and sticking to the pan. And again, we're just going to wait till that sage is lovely and fragrant. If you're using fresh sage, then you must cook it because sage is what we call a hard herb. So what I'm going to do at this point is go into a bowl with half of the onion and sage mixture. Excuse me, my voice is gone and half of the sausage meat mixture so you can buy a sausage meat like this or you can squeeze sausage out of the sausage meat out of sausages and remove the skins it's entirely up to you that was a festive sausage meat that i'm using so it's got a few extra flavors in it um, again i'm just going to put half the meat in get that mixed in in the only reason i'm splitting it into two and then i'm going to mix it all in together it's just to try and incorporate the onions and sage into the meat a little bit more evenly but of course you can chuck it all in at the same time if you prefer uh, i didn't have any gloves so i was trying to use a spoon obviously if you've got some gloves so that the raw meat's not getting all over your hands you can probably just chuck it all in at the same time and give it a good squeeze now for the assembly so get yourself a typical 12 piece muffin tin and this is why the spray oil is better because it just makes things quicker but you can use just brush it with a um, normal olive oil is absolutely fine but the sprays make things a bit quicker as you can see there i'm using again festive bacon you can use normal streaky bacon that's absolutely fine i do prefer smoked because i think it just adds more of a flavor um, so I'm grabbing the streaky bacon now and cutting it in half and you'll see why in just a moment. So we've got our greased muffin tin and what you're going to do is just lay one piece of the streaky bacon down like that and then lay another piece across the top of it. Don't worry if there's like slight gaps in the corner, it won't make any difference at all. We are going to put a little bit more bacon on in a minute. And then you just continue that process until you've filled up as many of the muffin tins as you need and then I'm just going to speed up the process because I guess you get the point and just like magic there we go eight ready and then to move on to the next step again don't worry if there's a few little gaps they'll be absolutely fine so next up and preferably wearing gloves but like I said I didn't have any grab yourself about just a little bit 
it's more than a golf ball size of your stuffing mix and then just roll that into a nice neat little ball and then pop that into one of the muffin holes and then just squash it down a little bit and then just continue to do that until you've filled up all your little bacon parcels now we're going to complete the little parcels um, so we put another little piece of the bacon over the top and then fold in those bits around the side so as you can see it's pretty much the stuffing meats completely encased so we'll do another one so grab a little piece of bacon and then fold over any overlapping so one good thing is when you when you're putting the stuffing into the bacon make sure that there is a little bit of overlap of bacon so that you can fold it over as well don't completely stuff them and turn them into these really nice neat little parcels I'm just going to speed up the video but let you watch um, let you watch me finish them off because it's one of those things that's really easy to do but quite difficult to explain on camera so now you can see they're almost completely sealed again you will get a couple of gaps but there's nothing to worry about I had enough for three more so basically I'm going to freeze ten ready for Christmas day and I'm going to eat one when they're cooked that's all the prep for the festive stuffing bites and all that's left to do now is cook them in the oven so we've got a preheated oven at 180 and we're going to pop them in for around about 15 minutes to begin with and then what we want to do to ensure that all that bacon doesn't start as, it get, as it's getting crispier and a bit firmer it doesn't start opening up we're going to really really carefully using two spoons um, really carefully because obviously they're hot use two spoons and turn them over so now this is the presentation side as such so what this is going to do is help them from coming unraveling uh, from unraveling because we've turned them over and also the presentation side as i like to call it is now going to go really golden and crisp and super super yummy and um, doesn't it work well in these little muffin cases they're just brilliant so now we've got these lovely little bites they've got to go back in the oven now for around about 15 to 20 minutes until the bacon is lovely and crisp and the stuffing in the middle is cooked through so i finished that job and then pop them back in the oven and as i said once the bacon's lovely and crisp and the sausage meat is cooked through we've got these beautiful little festive stuffing bites and they're really really good if you just fancy them with a little glass of fizz or obviously as a side dish on the main event just leave them in the mold just for five minutes or so while they cool a little bit um that way they hold their shape even better and as you can see look at that lovely neat little parcel here they are nicely displayed on my uh, chopping board and then we're just going to cut into one so you can just see they're just so lovely and juicy and just make a nice little difference to normal stuffing and as you saw they're not that hard to make either so we're going to cut in there look the um sausage meat is still lovely and moist the bacon's lovely and crispy and you just need to make sure you make enough because they're going to be delicious keep your eyes peeled for more festive recipes